Hello, my friends. So happy to see you all. When I, when I look out through my screen to your screen, I feel how valuable the gift of our attention is. And it reminded me of uh, even, no matter what is going on, that we can give the gift of our presence and we can also receive presence from others. And that's one of the main reasons that I started the Loops and Scoops, which we now call Love in Action. And what it occurred to me that I'd love to do with you starting today is to, of course, when we do loop of awareness, it allows us to refresh. So whether we have been focusing too much out or whether we've been focusing so much in that we haven't really gotten the nourishment of out here and around here. That's one of the main things that we're doing. It's not so much the content, but that we're shifting our attention. And that when you simply shift your attention, that refreshes your whole system. So I wanted to start with that today by having you give some appreciative attention to somebody else on who's on screen. So I'd like you to notice, and might be noticing somebody that you don't really uh, know. And I'd like you to notice what about them can you appreciate right now? So what do you need to do to have your attention be appreciative? So one of the things that I do is get a little bit of movement going in myself and I soften my eyes and I open my breath. Ah, <sighs> and I might even create a little hmm because that moves me into wonder brain. And then I'm looking with either sensitive awareness, like, oh, what's going on? Hmm, what's going on? Or focusing primarily on the positive. So I'd like you to look at someone. And then I'd like you to change your posture in some way. And then notice if the way that you're looking at them changes at all. So when you change your posture, what changes about what you notice? And you might be aiming it right at them or you might be aiming it around them. So now I'd like you to take that same attention and give it to you. So I'd like you to appreciate in you the same thing that you're appreciating in them. Ooh. And notice that doesn't have to have any words to it, doesn't have to have any exploration. Your explanation, all you're doing is appreciating and then noticing that the appreciation can flow this way as well. And so pick somebody else and let yourself, first of all, what do I need to do to get appreciative? And then give that appreciation out. And this time I'd like you to notice if there's something under or something behind that you could appreciate. Hmm. And then give that same appreciation to you. Ah, oh, appreciating the same thing or appreciating in the same way. And then notice, is there something underneath that that you could give your attention to? Is there something behind that you could give your attention to? So I noticed my attention going to the back of my neck. And then under that was a little thing in my, in my right shoulder that was wanting my attention. So I'm giving attention to that and then letting my body respond. And then pick somebody else, somebody else maybe you don't know, somebody who's on another page. I see that a lot of people on our second page are doing this without letting us see them. So you could just appreciate their name. You could appreciate, like, I know some of these folks and I can appreciate them even though I can't see them. So we often think I need to be able to see something to appreciate. So 
what if you could send your appreciation to even things that you can't see? And then bring that same appreciation, which is a special form of attention to you, maybe to something that you can't see right now. Something that's not visible, but is really asking for your attention. And then what's behind that or what's under that? Because in our what's wrong mentality, we're often looking for the pain point and then we sort of poke away at that to try and fix it or improve it without realizing there's something going on around that. And this may just be the signal of something wants your attention. So I love to give attention and then let my body respond. Because we live in a culture that is sit still, be quiet, don't move, and try to learn something, try to do something. So I want to interrupt all of that. So it, because you're muted, you can make all the noise that you want to. And I'm looking at you, Jennifer. I'm looking at your noise ability <laughs> as you're moving around. What's under and what's behind and how does your body want to be expressing when you give yourself attention? Because this is a time where you can let all of the rules about how you're supposed to behave, you can let those go for 15 minutes and play with what would it be like to be fully appreciative out here and fully appreciative in here and letting yourself get just tickled by that. It's one of the things that I've learned from my cats and especially there's, there's a cat over here for those of you who can see who's right here in the chair. <laughs> and this is Greta and Greta is such a great receiver. She will just keep receiving, you know, and she also is eternally optimistic. So he'll, she'll jump up on the place where we brush her and she'll just sit there. She can do this actually in the middle of the night when I get up to pee, I get up and there she is sitting there waiting for me to brush her at three in the morning because she's just so ready to receive. So notice how could you get ready to receive? Because one of the things that we do as humans is that we're always checking in. I think one of the reasons that people have gotten together sooner than is really uh, good for our health is because we love to vibrate together. That's what's really going on at parties is people are going, no, 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 oh, I like this about you. Oh, I like it about me. Oh, so we've been missing that. So let yourself use this opportunity to get ready to receive and notice as you're continuing to just simply shift, looking at other people, appreciating them, coming back to you, appreciating you, and adding in the noticing, is there anything behind or anything under? So that you begin to broaden the frame, you know, and also when we give attention to ourselves, we so often just let it bounce off. You know, it's like, you know, love you, babe. Uh, rather than, ah, ah, here I am. Ah, feeling into, ah. So what I notice when I'm doing that is that my pace gets more leisurely. So a lot of times we're going, okay, yeah, 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 I've got lots to do. Yeah, hi, you know, I'm very busy. So if you drop out of busy mode and get into receiving, giving and receiving mode, what's the most delicious pace for circulating your attention? So I like mine, I'm thinking of jellyfish this morning. You know, the image of jellyfish, how they spread out and then lengthen. So that kind of a jellyfish pace of, ah, letting it land out here, letting it land on you. And I also like the way that the jellyfish, I can feel that energy moving all the way down through my feet. And let's add in some love scoops to this. So whenever you think of it, you can simply shift your attention 
but I'd like you to let yourself feel into your own jellyfish. So how much of the space around you can you fill with love? So that love is out there and around and between us. And just like the jellyfish, let yourself expand out to that. And then you can let it give it to different places in you. So you can reach out and feel mm, where, ah, where is more attention wanted? Mm. Mm. And letting your attention go out and coming back into your jellyfish. And I like to feel it coming all the way down through my feet. So letting your love scoops move all the way through your body. And I'm using my hands too to let my legs know I'm here. letting your attention circulate around you and then around somebody else and around you. So what's a different way that you could reach out and bring in some love to you? With love scoops, this really activates our ability to want and to receive. <clears throat> so just for a moment, contrast love scoops where you're just moving your arms. So you're kind of doing windmill, windmill scoops. Yeah, that's a lot of what people then go, okay, I'm doing love scoops. I don't feel any different, but I'm doing love scoops. And part of the reason is that you need to use your torso to, that opens up your whole body reception. So reaching out, in some new way that activates your torso and then bring that love in to some place that was beneath or behind when you were shifting your attention. And then I realized I hardly ever reach up. <clears throat> I was just having a memory of reaching up to ask my dad to pick me up when I was four and he said, you're too big now. And I just went, oh, I'm too big. First of all, I received, I'm too big. <clears throat> and so I thought, oh, I'm too big. Okay, I'm supposed to be too big. And so I played with that, you know, with my weight for many, many years. But the other thing was, <clears throat> I'm too big to get attention. So uh, when I reached in that direction, that memory, <clears throat> excuse me, that memory came to me. So I'm going to now reclaim this whole space where I can bring in love. I can bring in love from above and give it to me and give it to my arms, especially because my arms went, oh, I can't have any attention. So I want to let my arms know, yes, honey, you can have attention whenever you want to. So see, as you're reaching, doing love scoops, when you have a memory like that come up, it means you're opening up some more space to receive love. Ooh, and I just noticed that that whole thing opened up more space in my back. So I can back myself up in receiving more love. Mm. And let yourself give some attention to somebody else making sounds on your end. So it could be like, you know, or bloop. Boop. Just make some new sound and some new way of giving attention. Because part of what we're doing here is interrupting our attention patterns so that we can play throughout life. I want to give a lot more attention to play than work uh, because play is so much more effective. It's actually much more effective in changing patterns. So I want to invite you to give and receive this week and also giving behind and giving under. 
so that you begin to open up much more of the dimensionality of your giving and receiving. 